Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a uh, singles reading. So this singles reading is going to be for air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is if you are completely single. You're single. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, sun sign, star sign. If Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is your main sign, then this reading is for you. We're going to get one of these as an overall energy. This is for the next seven days, okay? The next seven days. You're single. Let's see what comes up. Next seven days from whenever you watch this reading. I have a playlist, a playlist for the other ones. I did do three-month forecasts. Um for all of the elements, you know, the three signs, like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as one, you know. And then, I, you know, I just want to bring this up real quick. Somebody mentioned, how can you do that? How can you, can, how can you combine them? Because I tell the spirits, okay? Right now, I have told my spirit guides, I have told the universe that I am reading for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Same with the three-month forecast. That's the intentions. That's what I have asked them to provide me for those three signs. That's how. Anyway, what I was going to say is the air sign one for the three-month forecast is, seems to be hidden. And it's timeless. Again, it's timeless. Okay, so whenever you watch it, three months from the date that you watch it, for some reason, people can't find it. I don't know. I'm going to download it again when I get done doing these and then it will start over but it does, I guess that's the only way it's there, it's in the playlist but it's had 4,000 views but I keep getting comments where's the air signs, where's the air, it's there anyway, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius what do we got? <gasps> did you guys have this time? this is what you had for the three month forecast I think, I can't, I did it, I can't remember what, I'm pretty sure because I think it's labeled temptations. Now, this is, this reading particularly is for the next seven days. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but you could be dealing with anybody, okay? This is something that could lead you down the wrong path, okay? You could be tempted by something that is unreal okay it may be alluring it may be um, intoxicating it may be um, really attractive to you but it doesn't lead to success I'm sorry so beware you may be tempted you may be tempted to go down the wrong road now, this is a card of ego, you know, and we all got it. So I'm not pointing the finger at you guys. I hear, I say that word and people, you know, it triggers them and they're like, oh my God. No, we all got it, including myself, okay? It's feeding the ego. That's what the devil does. The devil will bring in things to feed your ego, to bring you up that ultimate euphoria, right? You get up. Yeah, you will get up. But after you go up, you must come down. So beware. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Confusion. Oh, that fits really good. It really does. Options. Multiple options. Be careful what you choose. You got a snake in the grass. Be careful. Choose wisely. This is a card of consequences. And this one is too. So, you are going to have multiple options if you're single. And you're really going to have to use discernment to make sure that you make the right choice. Not all that glitters is gold. Keep that in mind.
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We're going to do it like this this time. You know, you could get yourself involved with somebody who it's only a one night stand. I'm just saying you could, you could, because they're not going to put in effort. The eight of coins reversed. They may tempt you with some sort of drug or um, lust, passion, sex, whatever. And it doesn't lead to success. It, I'm sorry. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's, you know, and you may be, you may be feeling weak at this time. You may, it may make you feel weak. Whatever, the, whatever, whatever this temptation is, it's going to steal your energy. It is absolutely. The Queen of Wands in reverse is a person that has lost all their ambition, all their drive, and all their energy. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Capricorn up here. This is, you know, <laughs> it's a dead end. It's a dead end. It's gonna. We've got three swords down here. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. You know the truth. You have an opportunity to see this as it absolutely is. That's the Ace of Swords. The truth. You you can see this clearly. You can, but you got to open your eyes. This guy is sleeping. You got to open your eyes. Be aware of what you're getting yourself involved in. This person will come into your life and they will leave. They will leave. Whoever it is, if you're single. Whoo! Now, weakness weakness lack of self-confidence these kind of the devil preys on people that lack self-confidence and self-worth and you know why so that they can find the strength that they're lacking to restrain themselves from temptations i'm sorry i'm not i'm just telling you what i see you're going to get hurt if you go down the wrong road i'm trying to protect you but you may not see it clearly because you may feel like, you know, you don't want to be alone anymore. There's like, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. So, you know, sometimes people close their eyes to the truth because they don't want to be alone. You could come into contact with a person who's only interested in sex and money. Everything but love. The king of coins in reverse is a person. I know who this person is. That is not interested in love. They're interested in sex, money, and drugs, and, you know, not love, okay? In reversed. They're not going to put in any effort. They're going to steal your energy. If you are the male Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here, you're probably dealing with a woman who is a Debbie Downer. I mean, this woman, she doesn't have ambition. She doesn't have drive. She doesn't have any uh, desire to put in a hard work. Okay. She is very attractive. This woman, she's very attractive, as is the male in this situation. Both people are very attractive, but this person doesn't have any get up and go. Okay. And you're going to realize, you will realize that this is not a stable opportunity. Eventually, I mean, you may go down this road and whatever and have sex for one night or two nights or whatever. But you're going to be left out in the cold and you're going to realize that this was a mistake. And that you opened the wrong box. And that you need to work on your stability and you need to let go of... So this is an obsession, okay? And this is an obsession. Maybe it's the obsession of I gotta find somebody and being impulsive. The, the devil brings in impulse, you know, it makes you act impulsively. So this is an obsession. This is an obsession. So, so you may realize that your obsession to, you know, find somebody, because this is codependency right here, you know, is 
causing you to make the wrong choices in your life. You got to find strength to restrain yourself from jumping. This is naive, reckless, reckless, risky behavior. In reverse, it is. Being taken advantage of, in reverse. Be careful, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're single. You don't want to be alone. You want somebody to take care of you. The devil comes in to tempt you with something that is a lie, something that is alluring, to test you, to test you, okay? To test your strength, to test your self-confidence, to test your self-worth, okay? That's what this is. You could fail. You could fail this test. Because your eyes are closed to the truth. The truth is right under his arms. But his eyes are closed. They're closed. Not opening your eyes and seeing. Now, the shadow is, you know, a trait of this card. The shadow. All is not as it seems. You look at me. We talked about the shadows the other day. You see the shadow in the wall? Can you see it? What does it look like? It's, what, does it look like a duck or what's it look like in the wall? Can you see the shadow on the wall behind the candle? It doesn't look like my hand, right? It looks like an animal, like a platypus or something. It's just my hand. It's my hand. Be careful. All is not as it seems. Look beyond that surface because somebody is going to present themselves to you and they are not who they say they are. They're looking for sex and sex only. Maybe that's what you want. And if that's what you want, then great. Go for it. But, looks like somebody could get their heart broken with that Three of Swords right there. That is the Three of Swords. And the truth is, you know, he's sleeping on it. So, be careful. You're not going to have a fresh new life with this person. I'm sorry. Not going to pretend. Okay, this is totally, totally driven by lust. So, if you are single, somebody, you are going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted. I mean, he's, look at, he's got muscle, he's got body. There's red, there's passion, there's power, you know, and that's all kinds of, it's like he's going to like, probably, whatever. Very passionate, very, very passionate, you know, and you're going to, you know, you're going to really, your your strength, your willpower, your self-confidence and your self-worth is going to be tested. And you're going to think about it. You're going to think about, you know, if I do this, what's going to happen? Is this person just going to walk away when they wake up in the morning? Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Yep. And take their sword and get the hell out. So, anyway, the truth is the truth, right? You guys need to be careful. You may have opened the wrong box because you are obsessed with, you know, finding stability, finding that caregiver, finding that one that's going to take care of you. This person is not interested in anything. And I know who this person is, okay? Is not in reverse or upright. I know who the pentacles are. I'm Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm all pentacles, okay? With a lot of Gemini in me. But anyway, this person is not interested in love. They're interested in fulfilling their needs only. So, beware. Beware. And that's what I have. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if you're single, be careful. You're going to be tempted by somebody that is very alluring. It will not last.
No longevity in this at all. Not even for a period of time. It's all an illusion. Seven of Cups, is, the whole scenario is a, an illusion. That's what it is. And you're, there's consequences. If you, you know, go down that road, you're going to get a broken heart out of it. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. What are you worth? Are you seeing things clearly? Are you awake? That's the question. When you meet this person, what's beyond the surface? You know what you do? You're talking to this person. You know, they're trying to, they're trying to reel you in. They're saying all the right things because this is the master of manipulation. The devil is the master of manipulation. He's trying to lure you in. He or she is trying to lure you in. They're saying all the right things. Ask them how they feel about marriage. Just do it. Even just for the heck of it. Watch their tone. See what they say. Ask them um, something really big about commitment. Right from the beginning. I read this a long time ago. I think it was in the rules. The book, the rules or whatever. To find out. I can't remember what it was. Where I read it. But to find out a person's real. The rules for dating or whatever. Anyway, long time ago. So anyway, if you want to know. If somebody is ever going to commit. Right from the get go. Right from the beginning. You ask them how they. You know. What they feel, how they feel about commitment or how they feel about marriage. Marriage was what I read. I believe it said the word marriage. <laughs> You'll find out real fast what this person is looking for. Good luck.